Uh, show me Mizzou.com here with Missouri defensive end Shane Ray. Shane, your thoughts on uh, the defensive performance in the scrimmage today? I think we played pretty decent. Um, we still we got a we got a really young defense, and I think right now we're still working on incorporating, you know, getting all of our calls and running to the ball. So overall, I think we did a good job, but we can there's a, there's a lot of room for improvement. Definitely a lot of room for improvement. No, I was very impressed with the first team uh, offensive line. Talk about the offensive line. You go against them every day in practice. Oh, uh, our, our one offense are a very physical bunch of guys. I mean, they're going to grind you out, especially on run plays and try to move move the line of scrimmage. And uh, they're not bad at, uh, at um, pass blocking either. So, you know, I think collectively those guys are a really good unit and they're going to do a good job this year. Can you compare that this unit that you played today versus last year's? Uh, it's it's kind of hard to compare those guys because each guy brings uh, a, a different level of, of playing as far as it goes for like, for example, Mitch Morris is, he's a real strong guy. He has great technique, whereas Justin Britt was more so a more athletic guy. So, I mean, each, each guy has their own qualities, but they, they definitely are figuring it out and they're, they're molding together and that's what makes a good O-line. Would you think they're comparable or have that ability to be comparable to last year's offensive yes. line? Yes, I mean, each year I think our offensive line has been physical. Uh, they've done a good job of protecting the quarterback and a uh, great job of communicating, so I don't think it'll be a drop-off at all. I'll talk about your own personal performance today. You were doing what you do out there, <laughs> causing havoc for the quarterbacks, running around <laughs> the, the left side there. Yeah, um, just I'm just just been working hard and making sure I keep all my, you know, focus on and bettering my technique every day, uh, my pass rushing moves, also making sure that I'm able to effectively uh, be a force in, in, in the run game. So uh, it's just a lot of work that's been going on and a lot of work that's going to happen. So I guess uh, my performance today was just based off of uh, just Coach Cool's coaching and, you know, my effort in taking coaching and getting better. Yeah, your pass rush is, is pretty phenomenal. You're so quick and fast off the edge. Talk about the work that goes in to, to the run game, being better at the run game. Obviously, that's something you feel that you need to work on. Uh, the run game, uh, it's all about being physical. You know, it's, it's about being physical and it's about proper technique. So each, each play, uh, especially when I know it's a run or, you know, whatever, I try to make sure my technique is perfect. I play half of the man. If the tackle blocks down, I make sure I squeeze. And uh, just finishing, finishing to the running back. And uh, I think everybody can increase their ability in a run game and everything because it's important. If you don't stop the run, you're not going to be able to get a chance to pass. So I focus more on the run game right now because when the pass rush comes, that's when it gets easy for me. Right. And in the SEC, you're seeing 6'8", 330-pound offensive tackles. Right. What comes into play? You're going against a guy that size. Is it your technique, your speed? What exactly do you work to, I think to I, offset I think I bring that? A, I think I bring a level of uh, quickness, speed, and power. Uh, I'm a real strong guy. I work hard in the weight room. I'm quick, and I'm able to get to my gap. And with my technique, I think that carries me and gives me advantage, especially with my speed. And what are your left maxes? Uh, which one you want first? Bench. Uh, bench press. I'm a 420-pound bench presser. Uh, squat over 600 pounds. Uh, <laughs> you 225? 225. Uh, I did. My PR is 28 on 225. Right. So you are a real strong guy. Yeah. We know you're a real fast guy. Your, your PR for your 40 time. My PR for my 40 time would be a 4.43. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's that's amazing. Yeah. And uh, your vert? My vertical, uh, we jump off uh, the the vertimax pass, pass right. and I jumped a 42.6. Wow, <laughs> that silence, ladies and gentlemen, was my my my, my jaw. That's amazing. Yes, that's sir. fantastic. What about your your uh, <laughs> your L cone and your eye? Uh, I forget which the, the time. I got a monster behind me. Uh, All right. I think is is I test off a of four. Is it is that in the four ranges? Mm -hmm. Okay. I so for you, I ran the three. So I think I I ran a seven o three cone, and my eye test is a four three something. Okay. Evan Bame has a question for you. Well, which one's your favorite tattoo? Which one's my favorite tattoo? Uh, I gotta go with Jesus. <laughs> That's smart. Yeah, always, go always with, a good move. Going, good going move. with Jesus. Right, you, can't, right. you can't go wrong. So, what are your goals for the rest of uh, the spring? Uh, my goals for the rest of the spring yeah, is. <laughs> 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 my goals for the rest of the uh, spring is just to continue to improve on my technique, continue to uh, be a force in the backfield, and just keep getting better. Now, talk about the, the younger guys. You, you work with them. You're a veteran now, so mm -hmm. you work with, with the guys behind you, Charles Harris. Talk definitely. about some of those guys. Uh, definitely. Uh, Charles and Marcus, they're, you know, they're young guys, and uh, you know, they need some guidance. You know, it's a lot of things that you just can't really figure out without levels of experience. So I think you know, it's my job 
And I think I do a pretty decent job at, you know, whenever those guys have questions or need help or if they want to watch film or anything like that, you know, I'm there as a person that can, you know, give them a first-hand experience of like, okay, here, this is what you should do. Here, this is what you should do. And I think they're, they're, they're taking in everything that, you know, each, each older guy, not just me, each older guy is bringing down to them. And I think they're starting to learn how to use it a little bit better. But, you know, they're young guys, so, you know, you can't expect them to not make mistakes, but they're growing. Right, I saw you come in a little late to a practice and they just perked up. I mean, your, your leadership just is like automatic when you came in and they, they kind of look up to you, you can tell that. Yeah, um, I think I, definitely this year, um, each time I come out here, I try to bring a certain level of enthusiasm because, you know, that's me. And, you know, with the defensive line, enthusiasm drives us. You know, if everybody's, if nobody's feeling it or something like that, you know, I don't think we're going to produce the same as, as where if we were all wired up and ready to go. So, you know, I try to bring my leadership with enthusiasm and leadership through uh, just being a leader through my actions. And I think that's important. And I think the guys look up to me for that. And, you know, that's why I try to make sure everything that I do is on point because they're looking at me. So if they see me make a mistake, you know, I don't want them to see me make a mistake. You know, I want them to learn or maybe learn from my, my mistakes. So. Right. That's great. Uh, Harold and, and uh, Ricky are working out at defensive end a little bit. Can you talk about that? Or is that something that you see possibly being a regular uh, move out there? Uh, I really don't know. Um, I think that's that's something going on with, with upstairs with the coaches. Okay. But something we can't uh, talk about. Uh, I, honestly, I couldn't tell you anything. I right. couldn't tell you what I don't know. But okay. I think right. uh, I think they're just you know they're versatile guys. They can play either or. And you know right now with the amount of depth that we have at defensive end, you know they probably are trying to you know get a man to see you know where we can move guys around. Right. So me and Marcus won't be on the field or Charles or whoever. You know just keep bringing that depth that we're so used to having here. All right. Thanks.